Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland and this is Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. It's nothing for you to do, I'm just going to talk to you. It's going to be a relaxation session. And before we go further, i just uh, let you know that um, on my website I'm trying to raise some money for the NHS uh, hospital charity in the UK, NHS Charities, to help support nurses and doctors. And the links on my website page is a big banner, which you can click on if you choose. Um, groovy and so as I said this is just going to be me talking so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable whether it's sitting in a, a chair or laying down on a flat surface a bed sofa if you're sitting in a chair please make sure the chair has armrests or something that supports your body so that if you was to fall asleep, you didn't fall out of the chair. It's very important. Secondly, it's not really a warning, but uh, you may fall asleep if you lie down. You may fall asleep if you sit in a chair, but uh, I always fall asleep if I lie down because I associate the bed with sleeping. And it's not just that, I just, whenever I close my eyes, I generally fall asleep, even if I'm sitting in a chair. So, uh, if there is something important that you need to do, and you're just taking a bit of time out of your day to listen to this, then I suggest maybe you set your, you know, an alarm or something to wake you up just in case you do fall asleep. And I suppose the other thing is there are no longer any adverts at all on my podcasts or on my websites. My websites, my website. And that's it. Everything that I do is available for you to download for free and to listen to, to stream for free. Also, most of my videos from the past are also now also, also, also on my website uh, in the correct places, you know, so uh, depending on what recording it is, the video would be embedded in that page. So you can laugh at my various faces over the years as I've grown older. So now um, I want to say a thank you before I go any further to a couple of people. I want to say thank you to Ariana. I want to say thank you to Deborah as well. And I also want to say thank you to Teresa. So thank you for your gift, your PayPal gifts, um, which I appreciate. So it helps me to pay for the the running of the service, you know, website, podcast, uh, all that stuff. So I usually start a relaxation session by asking you to you know close your eyes and that but to get yourself comfortable and it's important to remember that you can change how you feel at any time uh, change by that I mean change your physical position so you know if for example if someone's got sciatica and 
Admittedly, relaxation will reduce by a lot that uh, discomfort. So someone with chronic pain will feel more relaxed. The main thing is you can readjust your body whenever you need to. And I know you don't need my permission for that. Of course you don't. But sometimes it's easy to get um, a little bit... uh, I just feel like I should sit here or I I should lay here and not move. And that's the only way that this will work. No. You can move as much as you need to. As much as you need to. The words will still be there. My voice will still be with you. You know, it's not going to change. So, you know, I've got a, a lower back issue. And also a shoulder issue. Which, uh, chronic pain stuff. So, which means I do have to readjust myself when I'm in bed. Um, my shoulder's not affected when I'm sitting in a chair. But my lower back is, so I I move. I need to readjust myself sometimes when I'm actually making a recording. And I'm okay with that. And I won't make any excuses to anyone for wanting to feel a bit more comfortable. Because otherwise, what's the point in doing this? What's the point in having a relaxation recording if you're not allowed to relax? It just doesn't make sense, does it? So there aren't any rules. I suppose the rules are that there aren't any rules. Apart from be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. And also, you know... That self-criticism that maybe we all have. I say maybe, I think we everybody has it. But to different extents, you know, different uh, levels. So, you know, you may be listening to this for the very first time. I don't mean this particular recording, but me. You know, you may never have listened to a relaxation session... Or maybe you have, but you never listened to anyone like me before. And you might just think, oh, I don't know. What am I supposed to feel? How am I supposed to react? And so you might be laying there and start having a go at yourself because you're not completely floppy within five minutes and sinking into the bed. Uh, well there is no right or wrong way of doing things and I'll tell you what would be more useful to you than relaxing is to have less of that negative dialogue Because then you would relax more anyway. Physically. As well as mentally and emotionally. You just relax more. If you are being kinder to yourself. And I do like the idea of. Being our own mascot. Being your own cheerleader. Cheering yourself on. Pat yourself on the back. Just saying, well done. And if anything, you know, some of my recordings go on a bit. I am known for being a bit of a blabber, I go on and on and on. You've managed to sit through or listening to me talking for half an hour or sometimes longer. I think you deserve a cookie, you know, you deserve 
to give yourself a pat on the back for doing that. That's an opportunity to be really kind to yourself and to realize that actually you have accomplished something. You sat through the boredom of me waffling on and on and on. Often repeating myself and if you listen regularly, really repeating myself, but maybe from different angles and, you know. But then you notice that you feel different. It might not just be a case of, you know, you you start to feel grateful for who you are and, you know, feel lucky that you're not me and you start to appreciate yourself. That might not be the only thing that happens. It might might be that actually something changes within you. Something changes. And you may not be able to put your finger on it or figure out what it is because it might not be obvious at first. You can just get yourself in a comfortable position, you know, just allowing yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. So it doesn't, you know, it's not about sort of saying, well, now I'm going to relax every part of my body. Five, four, three, two, one, here we are, fully relaxed. There you go. Doesn't have to be like that, it could be that quick. If you listen regularly, hearing my voice will have an effect. It's just a natural thing, it's nothing special, no special powers. It's just, it's a natural connection. It's no more. Uh, amazing than the connection between you visiting a relative that you absolutely love. You know, maybe when you was a kid, might be a grandparent or something, and you smell the cooking, or maybe just the smell of the house gives you that feeling. Some people, um, the smell of a newborn baby's head is like a special feeling, there's a special smell there, obviously after it's been washed but this is, there's a certain smell that isn't anywhere else, it's a baby it's weird but a baby's scalp a newborn baby's head has a special smell and Maybe everyone's house has a certain smell. Mine probably smells of ferret wee, but that's okay, because I live with a ferret called Andre. So there's that connection between hearing my voice, whether it's in these recordings, or maybe if it's in a whisper recording, deep sleep whisper, or the let me bore you to sleep recordings. But there's a connection. There's that. Uh, it's almost a stimulation, but not of excitement, but I guess kind of the opposite to that. Where it turns the key. Hearing my voice turns the key and releases those abilities and processes that you have within you all the time, able to let go and relax. At any time that you choose. But sometimes it's a little bit easier 
when you've got someone else with you to turn that key for you or with you. Or maybe, maybe you had that key the whole time, but you didn't know where the keyhole was. So maybe I'm the one that guides you to where the keyhole is. You've always had the key. The keyhole's always been there. Now I've just showed you where the keyhole is. Put the key in, turned it, and opened up that release. from your brain, those chemicals that relax your body automatically and slowly, there's no hurry. I'm not big on counting down from 10 to one and expecting you to be, you know, completely relaxed straight away, even though you might be anyway, but What's the hurry? Can't can't re can't hurry relaxation. Speaking a hundred miles an hour. Now go on, relax, relax, relax. And it doesn't really work for me personally. It's in the same way as if I was a, f- a football game and. I was a coach at half time in the changing rooms. I perhaps wouldn't be the best person to be doing that. Saying to them, yeah, now we need to really get together and work harder and put more energy into the game. And Together we can we can really win this thing. If you can all increase your energy, it, it wouldn't work, would it? Because of the way that I talk in this moment and there's something about even if you weren't particularly bothered or interested in hearing or listening to the words that I'm saying you may I've noticed that your body is listening. And that might surprise you because our muscles aren't supposed to have ears yet. Your chest and your stomach is relaxing your back, your bum, your groin, your legs, your arms, hands and feet, toes and fingers are relaxing continuously. I know I've been told I talk out of my bum and a few occasions no one's ever said that I listened through my bum so I don't think I have ears there so how come my buttocks and my stomach and my shoulders are relaxing and they they can't hear can they how can they know to just relax when you're listening to my voice maybe focusing on the words 
perhaps even following some of the things that I've been saying. And at the same time, your body, your toes, the bottoms of your feet have been increasingly feeling more comfortable as your body and your mind just lets go, lets go of everything. Not just thoughts now, but the past, the future, now, in a minute's time, a minute ago, stuff that hasn't happened yet, stuff that may never happen, stuff that did happen, none of it is important, including now. Because every second as you move into the future, the now changes. You move forward, leaving the past, moving into a future of relaxation and comfort. A real sense of comfort. It doesn't just feel relaxing. It actually feels nice. You know, like real... You could even say pleasurable. For no reason. There's no reason other than to just enjoy a feeling that you're experiencing because it's there. And it does feel nice. It really does feel nice. To just Be aware of how you're feeling without any criticism or any of that stuff that may have gone around in your mind in the past. Might almost feel a bit alien the idea of doing that. I mean, a bit silly, even. Why would anyone, why would anyone be negative to themselves? What possible point would there be to that? When you can be nice to yourself, when you can be kind to yourself in a way that supports this sense of comfort that you can enjoy increasingly enjoy experiencing more and more so calm and loose even breathing is easier nothing to think 
think about, nothing to do, freedom, complete freedom, feels so So nice to let go completely relax. Peaceful. Really. Really. Peaceful. Really 
peaceful. Peaceful. 